Hello guys and welcome to some more early access. This is Entropy. This is a sci-fi open open world. I guess you could say open galaxy. <laughs> Pretty much you have a whole galaxy to explore. You can go all around it, explore different things, mine, trade, fight for survival and whatnot. This is a course in early access, so this does not in any way resemble the future game release. So there will be bugs, there will be glitches, there will be everything. It might crash, it might do anything. So please do, um, don't judge it so harshly. And we'll start. Uh, let me go to EU. I haven't done anything, I've just literally opened it. So this is um, all the practical is. So choose male, female, specify your gender, okay. Specify your identity. Now you can do skin details. Let's have a look. So you can have like ridges, all that cool stuff. It looks like they are going to add more, but these are currently the only ones. This one is kind of cool. Like, <laughs> looks freaky as that. Woo! Uh, right, yeah, we'll go for this one. It's kind of cool. Um, I take it this is skin color. We're going to be, I don't know, be green. No, no, be red. Yeah. Right, right, hair. Um, so there's no hair. Oh my god, that looks freaky. <laughs> there's that hair. Oh, that's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Gonna go with a kind of cool one. That one. And we're gonna make it. And they fuck it. We can make it blue. It's awesome. Eyebrows. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> no eyebrows. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> we have no eyebrows. Right. Beard. Go have a manly beard. Where's a manly beard? That looks manly enough. That one could be bread as well. <laughs> Is. Uh, mm, fucking hell, there <laughs> And apparently you can make Vulcans. It's going to get. It's going to get with the normal years. And of course, you can make the scale of these either small or big. So we're going to go just above, below normal. You can do ears rotation. Have it inside his hair, for Christ's sake, you know. And about there. We can rotate it on the right y axis as well and on the z axis. That should do. Okay, eyes. Look into my eyes. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> Let's go with normal eyes. <laughs> oh, you can have different like kinds of eyes. Let's see. There uh, you got those snake eyes, fucking weird ass eyes, green eyes, black. We're gonna go black eyes. That's freaky as shit. Look at that shit. I don't think that's actually quite black. It looks kind of bluish. Right mouth lower. Oh my. <sighs> no, we want a normal face. Makeup. Right. Um, pink. <laughs> um, let me go with darker colour. Let's go with that one. It's kind of cool. Tattoos. There we go. And then the outfit. Uh, this one's okay. You can't actually um, zoom out here, unfortunately, to actually see the outfit. But as I have this kind of space admiral type one, or just a space miner headwear, we don't really want because we want. Oh, I got rid of my hair. Damn it! Oh, that that's a big ass fucking cap. That is. Look at it. Or oh, fucking do rags. So we just get bald. Fuck it. Face facial accessories. No, okay. Uh, miscellaneous. That is kind of awesome. Look okay, at that one. Right, continue. Right, background. So we can now go that one or that one. We'll go that one. What's this one? Oh, dip. Awesome. Right, continue. 
Right, so we're in the background is a belter. Our family were asteroid miners and you grew up aboard a ship. A trader. Your family were independent traders and your childhood spent moving from station to station. Colonists, you were you were born in a frontier system and learned early how to survive. Corporate, you are from one of the corporate core systems intended corporate schools. No, I like the sound of colonist. You will start the game with some training in the asteroid mining, blah, 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 blah. You will start the game with some training in the hull maintenance and module installation skills. Sounds good. Alrighty. Experience is either a miner. You have experience in asteroid mining and salvage recovery operations. Merchant, you have experience in interstellar trading and economics. And con uh, contractor, you are, have experience in fulfilling a variety of missions. For different employers and then combat. You have experience in tactics and strategy of Starship Command. I think I go with combat. Our name shall be uh what should it be? Aza uh we'll go with Adon. Uh you can't actually make little set. okay, you can't exactly okay. Go with Aiden. Continue. Connecting to game server. So probably I haven't heard any music of far. <laughs> I mean, I literally you're hearing what I'm hearing. You're just literally hearing myself. That's about it. So I don't know if they've added music in yet. I would hope they would. Otherwise, it's gonna be extremely boring. As you can see, all the different types of ships around there. The one to the right, that's like a small shuttle-type fighter. And here we are in the um, in the universe. Incoming transmission, scavenger patron, patron. The object where the object we've noticed is it's located somewhere in this area. I'm sending the coordinates to your onboard computer. Fly there, but be careful. We don't know what to expect. So it's got music. It's got very. It's controlled by the mouse and not controlled by the W, S, and D keys. The throttle is controlled by the W key and, of course, also the S key. You got your energy up on the right there which gets used up whenever you uh, kick in the uh, engines and there's the firing stuff looks alright I don't know I don't know what okay so that one did something to us I don't know if there's a way to uh, bring up the old Can't seem to actually stop. We're in some kind of a hyperdrive mode. Oh uh, dear. <laughs> uh, be careful, I'm receiving uh, weak signals from your ECM. You may not be alone now. You may not be alone now. Oh dear, okay. Unidentified security ship. Halt, this is a restricted area. Incoming transmission. Unidentified security boss. No warning. Oh shit, me. Right, so as we see now at the top, it um, indicates the left, I suppose, is the shields or the energy. I'm not quite sure which one's which. We, of course, get um, told where we should roughly aim the, uh, the um, red dot in the middle there. So you can also control the speed with mouse wheel as well. I like it. This seems to be loot that you can pick up. Seems to be another ship over there. I'm not sure how you can select people the ship. Right now, I'm just. Ah, oh, there, there we go. Right, we slow down, we can turn around then. And then. Right, so yeah, I've, I'm guessing the one on the right there is its shields, and then the one on the bottom is its hull strength. And then the one on the left will be the uh, energy that it has. I'm terrible at shooting this. There we go. Okay, get, get here, you bugger. Ah, oh, this is terrible at shooting. There we go. And then we got another guy down here. It looks like you actually need to hit him first, but I haven't been told yet what the. Um, 
the short keys. So as you can see, the weapon systems are hitting against our shield, which has a nice green effect color when hit. He just flew into the asteroid, which we're about to do as well. No, oh, here we did. There doesn't seem to be any collision effects in this either. So, hey, oh wow, he's actually literally stuck inside the asteroid. There we go. You also have the reverse buttons, which can be if you drag back on the mouse wheel. Then you can get that. Ah, you bastard. Come on. Oh god. Uh, tab to cycle. Okay, that I didn't see that bottom left right there. You can press tab to cycle between the enemies. So that is something to bear in mind. Lovely. Oh lord. Uh, oh lord. That's bad. Oh, that's very bad. <laughs> Whose path did you just cross? Let's check the wreck and see what they've got. Let's have a look. So move the reticle over the ship wreck and press A to collect loot. Press A. That's very. Uh, I guess you need to be quite close. Press Alt to toggle fly mode. Okay, so that's fly mode. <laughs> Press an A. Um, it does say that, doesn't it? Pre um, move the reticle over shipwreck and press R to. Oh, I was about to say, I thought I said A there. Uh, real gun clips. Um, they go. And then the next one is down here. It seems that you can actually collect them from pretty far away. I don't know why it's gone back into the fly mode. So that, this one's about a thousand kilometers away. So let's see if we can do that. Yeah, we can. It seems like you can collect it from quite a bit of a distance. Now let's see what they're trying to hide. Indeed. Aiden, no way. Battles with angry pen pushers are not what I stand up for. Nothing's going to make me go there. Well, almost nothing. Ah, you can be a real pain in the butt, you know that? Okay, okay, I'll double your share. Fair enough. <laughs> double my shares. Uh, as you can see, top left actually, it is a... Um... Oh wow, this is a security drone, maintenance drone. We'll go for the scout drone, because that one is most likely the strongest out of all. Like they probably noticed this by now. The game is kind of steady at 40 frames per second, but that's because also um, I'm using traps as well, so keep that in mind. Ah, uh, there's more actual. Um, ones. Oh my god! What the fuck was that? Yeah, tell me, I've got a. I wonder what the fly mode does. Okay. Probably just some sort of like. Uh, auto fly kind of thing. What the hell? I didn't tell you to fire. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the ass. I really cannot shoot for shit, trust me. Whoa, look at all these drones, they're swarming around. They're swarming all around, sorry. I know, right? So, are we just going to sit? Shoot one of the bees, an AI relic will bring a small fortune. Oh, this is going to cost you, I'm not suicidal. They're fucking pushing me, the bastards. I can't literally control it. Now. Okay, no. since the shut, since the shutdown, they're dangerous as wet paper bags. Come on, shoot the drone. Which drone? What drone am I shooting? <laughs> Press the Y key to toggle free camera and look around. Tab to cycle for enemies. Uh, these are going to be hard as shit to hit. I just know it. So, see, I just <laughs> you can try and like put the reticle over them and shit, but it still doesn't make a lick, lick a difference. Oh dear, I'm, I'm really bad at flying it, turns out. Okay, the Q and E actually rotates the ship as well. Oh my god. This is going to be so annoying to kill, I can just tell. I don't want to do that, don't want to do that. Oh, what the fuck? No, 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 no. Now what the fuck was that? Did I collide with something? That stuff, you received 20 damage from Joe, Jesus Christ. 
Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's a bit uh <laughs> bit of a power right there. Okay. You've got new mail. Click the mail I can read. Go away. So this is the uh <laughs> the station menu I suppose. Hanging security subject insurance policy. Dear customer, this is to inform you that the loss of your ship is completely covered by your insurance company. In in accordance with this, we have provided with a new ship which is located in your hangar at Avernith Station. Thank you for choosing our company. It is, it's our goal to continue to meet your needs, no matter what challenges life may bring you. Yours sincerely, Hangar Service Center. How? Okay, I don't know. It was empty, but it still shows that. So we go to our hangar, and it's a witch, which is this one. This is what we've got currently. We get three slots in which we can fill. So we're going to select this ship. Wonderful. So now we've got a new message. Head to the medical center. Epidemic breakout. Attention all personnel. We have an extreme medical emergency in Hetal system. And we desperately need vaccinations. Please deliver vaccinations to our, our station ASAP. And we will greatly reward you. So this, I'm guessing this is the type of thing that you would receive while in stations that allow you to trade more efficiently. So we got this, we go to goods I suppose, uh, consumer, so it shows you what they demand as well if you're in a station, so they demand environmental system recovery technology and computer systems. And of course they have supply, so their count is one vaccine, so we're going to buy one vaccine, and our total lost is 1050. I don't know where your money actually is. Um, where is it? I might just be blind as shit. So, <laughs> but yeah, now we got that. We can go to uh, this one, and yeah, okay. We, it shows us that we, this is what we have in our storage, and then we can go to our ship, which is the cargo hold. Oh, so I take it we go to this one, and then drag it into there. Then now that's in our cargo hold of our ship. Then we can travel out of the station. So as you can see, trade is going on pretty much. I I would guess they have some sort of system that um like uh, saves the details of the uh, the uh, current station needs. That's what I'm guessing anyway. Um, as far as I know, I don't know if it's actually multiplayer. I did see a chat at the bottom left, so I take it that it is. Otherwise. You know, it's still a pretty good game. Yeah, general system and trade. Yeah, so I take it this is. Why the hell? Why am I flying to the left for? Right, what am I doing? What am I doing? See, I don't know. Okay, there we go. Oh, I just pressed something. I don't know why I pressed. This must be the um, interstellar drive, or hyperspace drive, or FTL drive, or what the fuck ever you want to call it. So as you can see, this must be the solar system map, not the galaxy map. And this is us. And uh, you control this with the W, S, and D keys. And our, our, um, oh Christ, I think we've got it flying backwards there. See, I wish I knew how to zoom out. There's a ship over there, which I take it you can um, engage in space battles and such. Now I forgot where we're actually going, so uh, skills. We'll be we going to Hetzel. I think we're going to Hetzel. Mission journal. Okay. Hetzel. Yeah. Okay. Hetzel. So we, we we need to travel just outside the third ring. I think we're on the third ring. So there's another ship here, yeah, you could probably choose to engage it and such, but we won't. <laughs> Considering we don't have that well uh, defences. Where the fuck am I supposed to be? Is that Hattel? Okay, that's Hattel. That must be some sort of um, hyperspace drive thing in the jiggy. How do you interact with it? 
I'm guessing you just literally fly. You do this. Oh, there we go, enter. So you literally have to be on top of it. So let's see what it does. I take it it's like a hyperspace speed boost of some nonsense. It looks like it. <clears throat> let's see what it does. Um. Ah, yeah. Okay, there it is. It shoots us off. It's kind of like the, the um, hyperspace rings in EVE. Or jumpers. I don't know what you want to call them. I didn't play EVE for that long. <laughs> Wonderful. Right, so we need to get to the Hetel station. Which seems to be over this way. We're on the outer outer rim of the uh, solar system. Enter the Nima station sector. And I take it the green one's the... Um, current objective considering it's Hetel Station. Oh, what the interception target Aiden. Oh. Well <laughs> I don't even know what this is. Uh right, well let's have a look what it is then, shall we? Right. So it looks like you've got the new mission. Uh it looks like we've been Oh okay, it's a pirate scout. Oh shit me. Oh wow! Oh Jesus! Oh no! No 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 no! I don't like it! I don't like it! I don't like it! I don't like it! No 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 no! Fucking pirates! Alright, we got one of them, I believe. Keep on firing! Keep on firing! Keep on firing! Ah dear me! Our hull is still up. On. Hit the bastard! No! So we're dealing damage but we're also receiving a heavy amount. Oh, it's got to be pain for some of you guys to watch. Right, common isotopes and railgun clip, wonderful. I still don't understand why it puts you in flight mode when you do that. Yeah, there we go. Just so you got aim just slightly in front of it. There we go, lovely. So we got some rare gases, awesome. Ice and minerals. Minerals, 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 minerals. And our hull was actually down quite a bit. It looks like this was some sort of space sector. I say space sector because that's the intelligent way of saying it. <laughs> um, there we go, we can now leave, awesome. So that looks like one of the random encounters you could probably receive. There's probably a lot of them. But that was probably just one of them. So, yeah. Quite surprised actually because this system was supposed to be a green system. But, yeah, oh well. Right. So we can enter this. You, it seems like you have to be within the um, yellow radius to actually enter the uh, instance. I think it might be an instance, I'm not quite sure. I like the artwork anyway. Right. Dockwood Lentil Station. Now how the fuck do I... I take it I have to go to the, like, the red lines. There, okay, there's some as well. I don't think there's a docking system at the top right. No. <clears throat> So yeah, so far it's, it seems quite good actually. I didn't even realise we had missiles. It seems like we have five missiles. Interesting. Whenever that music comes on, I swear to god I'm being like there's a fight about to erupt. So do we have to fly down here into that?
There we go. Okay, yeah. You literally have to fly into it. Which is cool, I suppose. I'm not sure how big the ships will get in this game. I'm hoping they get, like, quite big, but are quite slow. I don't know. You know, maybe Eve kind of stuff with, like, Titan-class ships. That big fucking type of ship, so... Right, we can go to here, we can get a goods, we can get a consumer. And now we can do a sell order of... Um, okay, that's weird. Let's get rid of that. I can't get rid of it. <laughs> Come on. So, what do we do here? We clicked on the consumer. Click on the vaccine. Oh, and we can sell it to them. Okay. So we can send them one vaccine for 5,000. Total income is 5,750. So we can sell that. Wonderful. <clears throat> we can also... They are... Wait. Is that how many I have or how many they have? So we can click on that. And then they will say to us, from unknown, subject unknown, do you want to know what happened to you in the last mission? Fly to sector XXX and investigate old ship remnants. Okay. Right, so I'm going to leave it there actually. I don't know if I'm on. Region map, what's the region? Oh, okay, so, okay, this is the galaxy map view. Like, this is it. It seems like a whole lot of places. There isn't anything over here which makes you believe they've only mapped out this sector. Hopefully you can go over there to, you know, expand it a bit. But right now we are over in a Hetal system. Standard manufacturing tax rate is 5%. So anything you sell, they take 5% off. So that's why it, that's why those vaccines were like 5,000. But we only got 4,750 because, you know, they took 5% away from it. A lot of the outer systems look hostile, so that's, you know, reasonable. And then all the interplanetary systems, you know, on the outer rims over here, those are going to be the more hostile regions. And it looks like they have specific things like um, hydroponic uh, agronomy. Is that agro agronomy? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Never heard of that before. And you got like a shipyard down here, advanced processing, so. You would go to these different kind of places to do different kind of things. So you can create route, reset routes and all that. So if you create a route, I suppose that's for automatic trading. If you have more than one ship, you can send that trip to a uh, ship. Yeah. Uh, we also have skills, it seems like. We have two remaining. So considering we're combat, we're going to... Can we not? Use... We can use one skill point. So we've done laser gunny, which is level two. It's a plus 5% bonus skill level to energy cannon damage. That's wonderful. Then we have buy a warehouse. So you can buy a warehouse for 1,000 or 10,000 BC. I still can't see where they got them, um, where your money is. Let's start up here, let's start over there. I mean, would it be on your personal? Mission journal, no, that's mission journal. Ah, wallet, okay, so we have 263,700 credits. I think you get 200,000 credits if you buy the colonist pack, which I did. And yeah, that was about 13 pounds. Wasn't too bad. So you get a load of free credits. Uh, marketplace, market. Um, I wonder if they sell ships. So they have certain patrols, but they don't have any in here, which isn't you know. So supply, they have they have raw gases, they have weapons, virgin modules, laser beam, salvage beam, um, extended cargo, uh, common, rare. We've got some rare isotopes that we could probably sell them. We could sell them one or three actually. I don't know how many I actually have though. So this is where we can go on to our cargo. And have a look. So we have three rare gases. Okay. So if we go on to actually no way. How many rare isotopes? Common isotopes. God damn it. Common. So common isotopes. We have three of them. I believe. How many? Four. Okay. 
So we have four and we can sell four. So now we don't have those. Um, as for gases, I don't know. I would have thought it would be in here, but it seems like it might be somewhere else that I do not know about. Consumer, munitions, cannon, deployer, launchers. Okay, all fairly simple. I am trying to figure out so if we go into here, into the undocked, where we can find an actual planet instead of a, a space station. Because planets normally have um, asteroids around them. But if I can't find one, then I might just end it here. If this gets good responses and you guys want to see more, then please make sure that you do leave a comment. And or a like, if I get over about uh, 10 likes. If I can get 10 likes, then I will do more of these. Right, so... It seems like the only way to go into the mouse kind of thing is to go into here. So we can exit sector. Wonderful. Right, so... Let's have a look. Region map. Okay, I was wondering if it was simply just a, a map map of the entire system and not the galaxy map. I have a feeling that these rings over here might be... or the names of stuff. Yeah, okay. So the names are probably planets. That is something that I... Okay, that is a planet. NPC encounter. NPC encounter. Don't really want those. I'm looking for... I don't know if you are allowed to travel too close to the sun. Let's have a look, see if we are. I might just literally fly over it. NPC encounter, ships detected 11, Jesus Christ. Don't really wanna go in there. 11 again. That's more of a faction guard, okay. I don't know if these are simply unexplored planets or non-habitable uh, non planets. It seems like you fly under them rather than over them. But there is this planet over here. Ah, oh yeah, okay. Didn't actually want to enter that, so now we're probably going to get destroyed because there's about 11 ships in here. I don't think there's even a retreat kind of system. You have to fight them. So, yeah, that's going to be a fuck to the ships. I don't know how you fire the rockets either. Perhaps we can uh, destroy these guys. But they are they're draining me quite, quite rigorously. Right, our next target is down to the right. So far, the combat system actually seems quite nice, quite smooth. Um, it does seem like though these guys do outmaneuver out you quite early on, but as long as you can um, understand basic principles, then you should be fine. The, these guys are actually tearing me up right now. Seems like we only have one now. This guy seems to be. Ah, oh, this guy hits a lot harder. Ah, oh, you bastard! No, 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 no. He's really hitting me up. He's hitting me up. Oh no! Okay, you got me. <laughs> For some reason, our uh, ship munitions actually ran out on all three of those. But I wasn't able to actually fire. Maybe I don't have a launcher system to actually fire them off of. But um. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the combat kind of system there, guys. So I think I'm just going to end that there until I upload this and you guys can see it. That's, actually, before I end it, I might just show you all these other tabs. So here's a faction. I'm independent. There seems to be three type of uh, factions. There we go. How to go to other systems. Press Alt and click the... Okay. So the, it is a multiplayer type of game. You also got trade system. And these, this is a uh, seems to be a general chat. 
You can join Rena Faction at Rena Capital Station, so you can join factions and get reputation with it. So that's that. Um, you got your you fa you can found independent cartel at Baron's Fort. Okay, so that seems to be a kind of like a guild kind of option. You got friends. I have no friends. <laughs> you have to buy warehouse, which I've shown you the wallet, which I've shown you the skills. I've shown you the journal in which I have shown you. Shown you. I mean. You got the modules, which I don't think I've actually shown you yet. We got rail guns here, so we do have a guided missile launcher, but I haven't been able to fire it. Just, you can put in new hull, new commands, new defenses, new engines, and whatnot. Seems to be fully uh, upgradable and such. Of course, you have your hangar, which I've shown you, and the cargo, which I've shown you. You have mission. Uh, mission board so you can accept these missions find thief uh, pirate killer clear sector etc etc and these have different uh, rewards so thousand credits five thousand credits etc and you can accept them at will you have the market which I've shown you you can log out you have options now this is the video options that I probably should have shown you I've got mine at fantastic and all that kind of stuff you can select blur and stardust and all that Right, <laughs> sorry about that guys, um, it seems like when I was sort of messing around with the options menu, it seems like I didn't like it and it crashed. So I'm not going to mess with those, I'm just going to show you them. Um, this is an alpha, as I said, early access kind of stuff, bugs, glitches, all different sorts of things that will be sorted out in future. So of course that was that, you got the audio, I mean, and I've already toggled all these down, and then of course you've got the controls, region map, options, cargo, etc. There doesn't seem to be many um, here so far, and there will be more. So, yep, yeah, that's that. You've also got the question mark, which is, um, you know, just tells you what's what, and then you've got the leaderboards. So there's not going to be, you know, many people on here yet, you know, people still have to get highest I don't even think there's been many PvP kills I don't think there's been any so you got mining trading people have been mining or like a boss and whatnot you got trading and all time so all time highest you know trading is this guy this guy spent about 2.2 .2 billion or 2.2 .2 million I don't know which one uh, we're not we're not actually skilled yet, just because we've been playing for about thirty minutes right now. <laughs> so thank you for joining me anyway, guys. Make sure you uh, click the like button, and then perhaps even click the subscribe button. And let me know in the comments if you like it. I lo I want to know because if you guys like it this much, then um, I might do a series on these where I make it into some sort of montage and you show you specific bits because with a massive multiplayer online game like this you really can't make a let's play of it. it it's more of a kind of you know this happened this interesting thing happened here we're doing this today and so on and so forth so it won't be so much of a let's play but more of a everyday sort of thing thank you for joining me and I will see you next time